Hey, this is Ian uh, for December 18th, 2010 Group Talk. Today we talked about weekends and what would be a good weekend. And we actually talked about a lot of other interesting things today too, like uh, average heart rate of mammals, things like that. Anyways, some of the words we learned today. Uh, le we learned a lot of phrases today, the first one being not as blank as I thought, for example, not as tall as I thought, not as fast as I thought. So, for example, English isn't as hard as I thought. Another word we learned was expire, which is when something stops being good or stops being or just stops being. You can say a person expires. That's a polite way to say that they die. Uh, so an example sentence would be expired milk smells horrible. And number th uh, third, learned, a third word we learned today was significant or insignificant is the opposite. Uh, which is something of very big importance or, or a big point in history or in your life or something like that. So, for example, World War II is maybe the most significant event in modern history. Uh, some of the pro mistakes I noticed today, um, pretty simple mistakes, but you just got to you know, take your time and make sure you pay attention before you say it. So, for example, advice is always something you give. So, for example, I heard, I advise to companies. What should have been said was, I give advice to companies. That's my job. Okay, and another mistake I heard, kind of a two-part mistake. Somebody said, I order a deck in my house. So, two things happened here. you got to watch out for tense. So, this is past tense. So, I ordered a deck for my house. So, the deck doesn't go in your house. It's outside your house. So, I ordered a deck for for my house. So just be careful of those and, um, and the other mistakes I've mentioned in the past and I'll see you all again at the next group talk. Thank you.